So now that you've had a bit of time to think about this, let's look at where this quote came from. Many of you might be surprised to learn that this was written in 1945 by a man named Venavar Bush, an American inventor and engineer. This particular work was from an essay titled As We May Think, published in the Atlantic Journal. In that same article, Bush talks about an idea that he developed called the Memex. Here you can see a picture of the Memex machine. The Memex is a desk that connects files and materials on any subject to the operator's fingertips. When we look at the Memex, it's hard not to see something that looks suspiciously like our present day computer and the internet through hyperlinked information. And remember, this was written by Bush in 1945. What stands out to me in the quote from the last video is the idea that researchers were already finding themselves overwhelmed with information back in 1945. Oftentimes, information is described in an overwhelming and negative way. When we think about common ways information is described, we sometimes hear information explosion, information pollution, information overload, a flood of information, an ocean of information, and from 1945, Bush describes a mountain of information. We tend to be so bombarded with information that it often gets seen in a disastrous or overwhelming lens. Now, if we fast forward from Bush's article in 1945, about 75 years into the future, I love to think about the mountain of information that Bush talks about and compare that to the present day internet and how much information is available now. These modules are not intended to be a historical look at the internet. However, I do think it's important to understand just how much information truly exists online and how it relates to our access and use of that information. Quickly, I want to show you two interesting images. The first is a chart that shows how much the web has grown between 1991, when the first website was created, and 2018. You can see there has been tremendous growth in websites over the past 30-ish years, with substantial growth since 2011 and 2012. The second image I want to show you is this one. This is a visual representation of the internet. According to the site, every site is a circle on the map, and its size is determined by website traffic. The larger the amount of traffic, the bigger the circle. Users switching between websites form links, and the stronger the link, the closer the websites tend to arrange themselves to each other. To really get a sense of the size of the internet, let's use Carleton University's website as an example. As we zoom out, we see just how big the ocean of information on the internet really is. At this point, you might be asking yourself, who cares and why does this matter? The first thing is there is a lot of information. Even in 1945, there was a feeling of being overwhelmed with the information available to researchers. Fast forward to today, and technological innovations like the internet are continuing to overload us with easily accessible information. The second thing, we need to be able to sort through that information, and it isn't easy. While the internet makes it extremely easy to find information, we face the difficult problem of knowing what information is good and what information is not good. I suspect many of us are already using strategies to sort through information that we are using in our own everyday lives. In the next video, we'll look at how we use information in our everyday lives and how we sort through that information to ensure we are getting up-to-date, relevant information. Before we get to the next video, however, I want you to think about an information community that you are a part of, or an information need that you have. This should be something you're genuinely interested in and look for information about in your everyday lives. This can be anything. Here are just a few examples of communities or information needs that you might have. These are very general topics of interest, but feel free to narrow in on something more specific. For example, is there a specific sport or video game that you look for information for? Or perhaps you need information about a purchase you might be making in the future. For example, recently I was looking to purchase a new digital camera, which required substantial research on the internet. Once you've chosen an information community or an information need that you have, please post it in the discussion board provided. Once you post, the next video will be available to you to view.